Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play any Steam game on your Xbox. Um, I've added, I've done a couple of videos in this before, but things update, um, Xboxes update, and things change. It's it's pretty much exactly the same, but I just want to give you an in-depth, step-by-step, 100% of the way, how to do it, okay? So what I've done, I've hooked up my old Xbox to my PC uh, using the companion app. So I can show you what it, exactly what it is on my Xbox, and I'll prove that I'm on my Xbox to show you. And then I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step of what you need to do to get your games on there from your Steam account. You will need a phone for some of this, um, a smartphone or a laptop, um, just to go on there and either download games or um, connect to your account, okay? So what you need is an Xbox, a phone, a smartphone, or a laptop, really, just to help you through it, okay? So let's get started. So as you can see, I'm on my Xbox. I'm going to open up the Edge browser. And this is where you're going to be playing the game from, okay? So I'm going to leave the links in the description. What you need to head do is head over to NVIDIA.com and make sure it's the GeForce Now side of it, okay? Once you're on this, then I'm going to ask you to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Just because I know it's 100% here. Some people said they couldn't see certain stuff. Um, there is a free version of this, but you have to wait. There is a paid version as well where you don't have to wait. And in terms of waiting, there may be a queue to access the servers. And I think you only have a limit of an hour on the free one. But it's good just to test it. And if you like it, then you can pay for it. Okay. So what I can do is actually I'm going to show you the prices now. So as you can see, the free one there, or it's, um, you can do monthly or for six months, it's $50. Uh, there you go. So you got an hour session with the other one is um, six hours. So that's the difference, really, in it. It's entirely up to you. It's cheaper than buying a PC. So what you can do, go ahead uh, to the footer. I want you to select download, okay? So if you can click there, it will load up the page now where you need to go to to access this next step. It is so important that you go to the browser option here. It doesn't have to be in your Edge browser. If you've got whatever browser you've got on your Xbox, you can use, okay? So whether it's Chrome, whatever it is, okay? Just press launch on the browser and it'll take you to a new page, okay? So the next step now is to obviously log in. So click at the top right. It's gonna give you a code and a web browser to go to. So you just search that web browser and it'll bring um, a, a place for you to put this code in. So I'm gonna show you that now on my PC, okay? So this is where now it asks you for to put that code in. Just put that code in. But there, and then it will ask you then to submit. So as long as you press submit, it will ask you then um, either is this your actual account or it'll ask you to manage accounts um, or log in, okay? So you can either log in with your Google account straight away, your Apple account, your Facebook. It doesn't really matter what account you log in. As long as you create a, an NVIDIA account, I'm going to show you how to hook up your... Um, your your Steam account in a, just a second. So you just this is just creating an Nvidia account. So once you do that, just log in, create login, and continue. It'll ask you then log into your Xbox console. Are you sure? Click continue, and then it'll say you are now logged in. So all you've got to do now is is just go back to your console, and um, you should now be logged in. As you can see by the top right of the screen, I am now logged in to the console as you can see up here, and that is all good. So that's all we needed done, that's all we needed to do, now we're logged in. Now, as you can see by here, it'll ask you, mine's got one of four connected because my game's already connected, but it'll ask you now to connect your um, Steam account. So click over here, and it will say connect. Click there, and it will ask you to connect any one of these. So you can get your Xbox, Uber games, uh, Epic, Ubisoft, sorry, so that's like Assassin's Creed and stuff like that, which is pretty good because you can get Ubisoft packages as well. Uh, Epic Games, so your Fortnite and stuff like that, if you wish. Um, and your Steam. So as you can see here, mine is connected by here. Um, I'm not going to de 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 um, disconnect it just because I don't remember my password, if I'm really honest. But, but it's quite simple in what you need to do. All you need to do is create uh, an account um with steam if you haven't already got one if you already got one don't create another one obviously and make sure your games that you wanted downloaded on there you can do that via on your phone 
downloading them via there or getting a, a laptop or something and it doesn't have to be a great laptop just downloading steam and download the games ready for you to play on here what you'll do um if i click connect by here it will pop up like this i say go to that web browser and i'll ask you to put in this code again and then you can connect it up via your phone or on your pc okay so that's the way to do it that's how you connect it i'm going to show you now which games you can and cannot play and how to do it. So once you've connected up your relevant account, it will ask you then to resync or sync. It does not automatically do it for you. Okay, I done mine 16 minutes ago, uh, 17 minutes ago, sorry. So now I'm going to resync it by here. And what it'll, it won't add no more games, but it'll find the games which we can play and which are supported. Not all of them are supported. I don't know how you find out, but you can find out via their website. I'm sure you can. Um, and there you go, I've got seven games done, okay? So all, that's all you've got to do. Um, and then you can go back and then select the games you want. I'll show you now which games you can play and where to find them to download them and play them. So as you can see in the top bar up there, this is where all our games are that are playable. So you've got Counter-Strike 2, uh, Euro Truck, uh, American Truck, the Christmas Special and stuff like that, um, Apex, all these types of games you can play. And they are supported, okay? Um, there is a lot of us that are supported as well. RuneScape is supported. All these types of games are all supported and you can play them. If they're not showing in this area, then you are not able to play them on this device, okay? Um, so, so yeah, that's it really. Um, I don't think I have any of these games actually downloaded and installed. Um, otherwise, I would show you how to play them. But... They do work. You can go on there. Uh, you can even use a controller. So I use my Xbox Elite. You can just use that on there as well um, and set it up like a normal game. At the top bar here, so at the moment it says that uh, use game controller. This is where you can select to use your game controller. It says use game controller or use browser controller. So when you're in the game, this is how... So if you're playing Eurotruck, for instance... You're in the game and it's like, oh, it's not working. Make sure this is checked that you're using the get, use game control, not use browser control, okay? So you can use that. You can also connect the steering wheel as well. If that is USB, obviously, into your Xbox, you can more than happily use that as well, okay? So it's a brilliant, brilliant tool to use. It does still work in 23, 24. So please... Don't comment saying it doesn't work. It does work. If you need any more support, please join my Discord. Pop a message in, and I'm sure I can find some time over the weekend to spend half hour sorting this out with yourself via screen sharing at any point in any time. Okay? So if you do need support, please don't hate. Please show some love on the video. Share it with a friend. It's really important people know this because it can save a lot of people a lot of money in hard times. Instead of buying a PC, you can just simply do this, even if it's just for one game. So guys, as I said, it is free, but there are paid options. Any more questions, please let me know. There will be timestamps in this video, so you can go to a selected moment to see step by step. My advice is to do it from the start, so then you can't get it wrong. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Much love. Peace.